In recent updates to Elementor Pro, they have removed the manual activation option. I'm going to show you how to get that back in this tutorial. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we're getting started on this one right now. As of Elementor Pro 2.6, you can no longer activate your Elementor license manually. You have to choose the connect option, which connects you to the Elementor website. You have to log in with your username and password. And it's a huge pain if you're doing a lot of client work or have a lot of designers working for you because they all need your credentials to log in or you have to log in yourself into every site. I'm going to show you a way around that. It's still possible as of this recording. Hopefully it'll be possible for a while, but it might not. First, let me show you what used to be possible. On this website, I'm running version 2.5.9 because I haven't updated it in a while. And if you go to Elementor and then license, we have the option to click on activate manually and we can enter our license key and connect our Elementor Pro license and be able to use Elementor Pro. And now if I activate this license, which then connects to Elementor, which then tells the website there's an update available for Elementor Pro, and then update it, this option will be gone from this area. But there's a secret link you can use. My buddy Kim Hoyer told me about it. It is on this GitHub page. It's linked to in the description down below. And the secret link is right here. I'm just going to copy this right away. You can read through it. There's a lot of people discussing why this is a bad idea for Elementor to do. And Shiloh EY from Elementor presumably feels it's a great idea. So read through it. You can decide for yourself whether it's good or bad. Anyhow, let's head back into the website and update Elementor to the current version, which is 2.7 point something. Let's go into plugins. And in a few moments, it should say there's an update available here. Let's click on this run data updater for now. And I'll just pause this video and when I have the update notification here, I'll resume the video and then we'll update it and we'll see the manual activation is gone and I'll show you the workaround. Here's the update notification from Elementor Pro. Let's click on update now. I'll just fast forward or pause while this updates. Shouldn't take too long. Updated already, that was really quick. Let's go to Elementor and license and let's just disconnect our current license here. And we see that manual activation button is gone. Now the only way to connect is through connect and activate unless we use this link that we copied from here. Let's copy this again just for good measure. We paste it after our domain name and it takes us to the manual activation page. The link is missing to get to this page, but you can still get here through the direct URL up above and we can enter our license key again and activate it. And this is still available right now as of this recording where I'm using Elementor 2.7.2. One of the reasons people are upset about this change is Elementor, I think six months ago or something, restricted the top tier accounts to only 1,000 installs. Whereas other plugins let you do unlimited. Even ones that are being abused, ones that have the plugin share with third parties, they still allow unlimited installs. Elementor reduced that to just 1,000. And 1,000 sites is a lot, but some big agencies would run out. They have to buy another license when they max out their 1,000, but they are likely earning enough income from those previous 1,000 to warrant another license. But other plugins, like I said, don't have that kind of limit. And this manual activation is seen as another way of limiting the third-party sharing, which, which it does, but it's kind of a pain as you read through in the comments on this GitHub post. It's kind of a pain for a lot of developers and designers. And one thing that kind of upset people was if you go to the change log, and this happened in Elementor 2.6 was when they started this, or when they got rid of the manual activation. And if we go to the change log and we search for manual, let's search for activation actually. There's no mention of activation anywhere. Manual, there's manual selection, jQuery control, manual selection in 2.5.9. Manual selection again, manual selection, a lot of manual selection changes, but there's no mention of the manual activation being removed. That should be something that should go into a change log, but for some reason it was hidden. Who knows why, but it's not in the change log. Some people are upset about that. So either way, this is the workaround. I have this, um, where'd it go? Let's put it back in here. I've put this link string inside of the description down below. So you can just copy paste it from there. I've put a link to the GitHub page down below as well. So you can check out the full thread. And I don't know how long this will work, but it's working now. So if you do use menu activation, and you need that for your business, make sure to take advantage of it as long as it's still here. 
So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And next up is watching this video up here, which is about the Brizzy page builder. A great walkthrough of that page builder. If you're fed up with Elementor and I'm constantly limiting your expert license, maybe in the future, it'll just be down to 10 websites. That's all you can do with the expert license, who knows? Brizzy does not have any limits like that. And in fact, they still have a lifetime deal where you can buy Brizzy lifetime for one fee, one time payment. Check that out. And down here is a full website I've built with the Brizzy page builder and the Astra theme. If you want to check that out, do so as well. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.